morning. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Body beat down here, Michael. Hump day morning. Running on about two hours. Horrible sleep. <sighs> yeah, when you got a kid that just don't care about anything, don't care about his life. It's not easy to sleep. It's not easy to rest. I'm never at rest. I'm always wound up. Because I never know when someone's going to call me or bust in my house telling me that my kid is dead. Happy hump day. <laughs> Diabetes is nothing to play around with, guys, and neither is your life. It ain't a video game. You don't get multiple lives. You don't get do-overs. And if you think for a minute that you don't care about yourself, you could care about the fact that you got kids. You could care about the fact you got parents, brothers, sisters, other family members and that that care about you. As someone who has suffered from depression for a good 25 years, me, I can tell you right now, I've had some of the worst thoughts a person can have. Thoughts you should not have. Life ain't easy. It sucks. But when you go and just don't care, man, it's not fair to those who love you. And when you got one parent that continues to not help the situation by continuously feeding that child incorrect foods, and you tell them that every time that they feed them those foods, and they keep doing it, it becomes somewhat of a situation. If you gotta have noodles, bread, and potatoes, in every meal that you eat, there's a problem. Especially when your body is already on the verge of shutting down and having to be on machines to keep you alive. It's only a matter of time before you're at that point. When you're at that point, yeah, you don't, you don't say, well, this don't have too many carbs. This don't have too much of this. No, you don't go to that extreme. You, know, you don't go to that point either. You just, you cut it all out. Those foods are not important. We all love food, but none of them is as important as your life. When you're at the point of your body shutting down and going into a diabetic coma, you eat meat and a vegetable. That's it. You don't eat nothing else. You don't get nothing else. Nothing. And people wonder what my problem is. I can't rest. There is no rest. My heart rate is always pumping. My brain is always thumping. I have no rest. How do I keep going every day and doing what little bit that I do? I have no clue. My whole body should have been shut down by now. crazy morning hey what are you doing is that the same dog that used to be out here forever and on the line and uh, would come out here well, we had a golden retriever she got hit by a truck so hey i bet you're the same one that came out here to visit me all the time oh, bro, we put i used to come out there. here and they'd come out here never barked never did nothing just come out here and see me hey you might be the same one. i bet for, you are for a couple years i bet you are I haven't seen you too much. She doesn't like being out here on the lawn for some reason. Yeah? <laughs> well, she used to run out here and say hi to me every morning. Her leash would go to, like, right here. Yeah. And I'd be like, that's so nice. She don't bark. She don't bother you. She just sees you. Yeah. <laughs> but, so sometimes she barks at some people. Yeah. Well, she was always good to me. So, right. I appreciate that. Her name's Daisy. Hey, Daisy. She loves people. What are you doing, Daisy? Nice to see you again. <laughs> nice to see you again. 
Yeah. You're a good girl. Well, I'll let you go. All right. All right. We'll see you. I had to see that dog. Uh, many of you know, or some of you know, I'm not a dog person, but sometimes you run across a dog that's uh, not annoying. They're sweet. And that dog, Daisy, is one. So guys, I'm sorry about my opening message here. I try not to be a, you know, a downer. I try not to have, you know, too cruddy or too downer of whatever of content. Sometimes it just hits us, you know. Sometimes it just, you got to open up and just talk about things. You know, and and you notice in my videos, sometimes I, I try to be lighthearted and have a good time and rock out and maybe dance a little bit and, you know, cut up and have a good time. And then you post a quick little clip of that just to share with the world and try to put a smile on someone's face while at the same time trying to keep a smile on your own. Then you get kind of stupid comments sometimes. Less dancing, more working out. Stuff like that. I'll tell you what, if you don't like dancing and rocking out and being lighthearted and having a good time, then you probably shouldn't go to my channel because I'm going to do that once in a while. Because if I didn't try to have some sort of sense of normalcy in my life, I don't know what I'd be. I don't know if I'd even be here. Sorry, it's winter again. So my nose is enjoying that. Guys, remember, you're not in this world alone. There are people out here that are affected by everything you say and do. That's in your real life. And that's even on social media. This world is not for the faint of heart. There's a lot of big time a-holes in this world. And their main mission is to bring you down. Don't let them, or try not to let them. It ain't easy. It's not easy to ignore people. And for those of you out there who are suffering from depression or suffering illnesses or just feel like you want to give up on everything, man, there's people like you out here all day long fighting this and trying to make it through. You are not alone. I am living proof of that. There's no, I'm going to get a little dark here, but I like being truthful about stuff, guys. I like being open and transparent about pretty much everything. But when I hurt my back, when I was roughly 25 or 26, from that day until today, There has been, I have wished for death more times than I can even fathom. Please, whatever being out there, whatever God, whatever anything out there, please, please just take my life. Please let me just fall over dead right now. Please. So I don't have to take my own life. Just let me fall over dead. I have asked that. Back when I was a Christian, I used to pray it. Please, God, heal my back. Let me be a better, so I can be a better husband and father. Please, or please kill me. Please just take my life and let a good, strong man walk into my wife and kids' lives. Please, God, please. 
I remember praying that. I mean, years I prayed that. Man, that's dark. That's dark, man. You're talking about someone who don't know that kind of life. I'm not a dark person. But pain, depression, it will change you from the carefree, innocent, fun, goofy, carefree person that you were to one of the darkest, you know, people you'll ever meet. It is not fun, guys. And my son, he just don't know the pain that he's causing his family. He won't, he won't realize it. He don't care. Me, I'm going to be able to handle his death. I'm handling deaths differently these days. I'm going to be pissed off at him because he don't care about us. He don't care about his kid. So I'm going to be more pissed. His mom's going to be tore up. And that's what I got to deal with. That. His brother is a lot like me. He get, He's kind of fed up and, you know, you're doing it to yourself. When you die, you die. Yeah, we're going to be sad. But, you know, you've done this to yourself. You're an a-hole for doing it. Rest in peace. That's kind of how you are. That's kind of how you get, you know. My nerves are shot, guys. How do I wake up every day? How do I get out here and walk? How do I spin on the bike? How do I work out? How am I making progress? I don't really even want to eat. I can't sleep. There's nothing you guys can tell me. There's nothing. Nothing you can tell my kid. There's nothing. See, it's hard enough for me to sleep as it is. I get wound up real quick. My wife can fart. And I'm instantly awake. My heart's pumping. My lungs are pumping. My brain's pumping. Everything's going crazy. My eyes are bugging out. I get wound up quick. So I don't sleep well anyway. Add on top of that, my back pain that kills me all night long, all day long. Add on top of that, my kid just not caring about his life. My wife, her epilepsy and stuff that she's dealing with, and I know she's a ticking time bomb too. Smokes all the time, horrible diet, don't care about nothing. Her health, she never has cared about her health. So she's a ticking time bomb. She's not 20 anymore, she's fixing to be 50. I can tell you right now, life is not for the weak. I can tell you that. I know this is not the usual fun video, but at least we did get a dog in there. That's what she said. So, I'm almost done with my walk. I just got to make it to my house. I'm done. I'm going to try and get some breakfast, get on the bike and spin, and hope that nobody busts into my house crying and blowing my day up and saying somebody died. Because that's all I think about. Who's going to die today? Who's going to bust in and wake me up? Who's going to bust in and 
bust in my office and say, so-and-so's in a hospital, so-and-so's dead, so-and-so fell over dead. Who's going to do it today? I don't know. It's not all sunshine and rainbows, as Mr. Rocky Balboa says. Go listen to that speech from Rocky Balboa. One of the best speeches in history. And what's crazy is it's from a movie. One of the best things you'll ever hear is that speech that he gives in Rocky Balboa to his son. Another one is when he's talking to Polly. And he's talking about there's still stuff in the basement. That movie speaks a lot of truth. That's why those movies are masterpieces. That's what the whole series is. It speaks. Guys, care about yourself because it's not just your life. Your life is mixed in with everyone else's. We're all accountable for everyone. We all affect everyone. Take care of yourself. Be healthy inside and out. Like, share, subscribe to the Body Beat Down for more fun, upbeat content like this. Get up, get out, get ready. Do it to it.